Hi guys and welcome back to my site engineering channel SiteEng. Today is a video number five from the setting out series and in today's video I'm going to show you how to do the resection. We're going to set up our EDM, we're going to do the resection and we're going to be good to go with all programs like serving, stakeout, reference line and whatever we're going to be using our EDM for. So let's go. So now guys, before resection, uh, we just want to really make sure if our EDM is still in level. So I'm going to press the key number one. And oh, I need to a little bit adjust it. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. So we can now jump to do the resection. So I got my target set here. I know this is the RT1. That one there is RT2 and we got RT3 also and we always going to be using three targets as I told you in the theory bit why and uh, let's go then. So now we're going to enter the programs and uh, station setup which is number one. Let's go set up station and determine its coordinates. Yes, that's what we're going to do. But first in, in this one what I always do I just press the page here and I want to set the job and always when I do resection I, I do the resection in the separate job I usually use a default job or whatever job you can later delete because the instrument is going to be saving each station so when you keep it in your job where you, where you keep your targets as well it's going to be sooner or later a bit messy and uh, the more tar the more points you keep in the EDM and then it's going to start really to slow down and slow down so I first gonna set the job I'm gonna use F1 and I'm gonna set the job here as you can gonna see its default job so I'm gonna press continue so our resection gonna be done in the default job and then press continue again resection and the station number is 649 in this case we're gonna press continue and the point ID, as I said before, I'm going to start from RT1. So uh, RT1. And that's what you're going to see. The point is not found in the job, but it's no problem with that. That's exactly what I wanted because then I press continue and I'm going to choose the job where I keep my control points. And in this case, the job is SiteEng Global. And then I'm going to press find. So you see the station is here and then I'm going to press continue. And uh, in this point, uh, we just want to make sure we are using the uh, proper settings for it. So always before shooting the target, you just go to EDM and double check. It says no prison tracking. So that's what we're not going to be doing because we're going to be shooting the tape and the precise measure measurement we want. So press continue and now I'm going to use actually the button to to turn the laser on but we are ready now to measure our first point so let's go we're going to use one of these crosses here just to roughly find the target I told you about this in my previous video so I'm going to see it from here and now I know I'm roughly at the target and then I'm going to jump into zoom Yes, now I perfectly see it and I'm pressing the measure button here. 
you're going to see the first. So measure. So that's what you're going to see. And F1 now is uh, measure more points. That's exactly what we have to do now. So F1 and the second point going to be RT2. And you can actually, instead of typing the number of station you know, you can check it on the list. So when I press list, you're going to see three targets and you can choose them. So that was the reason why I told you if you're going to keep the stations, when you're going to go into the list, you're going to see just different points, medium station, wherever you're done. So let's keep it tidy, let's keep it this way and then jump on the target number RT2, which at the same time you can view here to make sure you got the right coordinates or if you use someone's coordinates just to make sure it's all right. So then continue and we're gonna shoot the target number RT2. So as before, I just use a top cross here I know now I'm roughly at the target, I can see it from here and then I'm just come closer. Now I'm on the target and to measure I'm going to use uh, one of the trigger buttons which I uh, set on one of the first videos and uh, I'm very often using them so I really recommend you to use them as well and while I'm watching the target I'm still on it, I can press the button And I know I measure it, so that's the very, very, very useful them too. And a lot of people doesn't even know about them really. And then you don't need to go away from your instrument, or you don't need to try to press measure while you're watching. So this is, this is very good. And now after the second target is shot, the EDM going to show us accuracy in position and accuracy in height. So height is perfect. Uh, position is only one millimeter, and uh, angle is seven seconds. And you can see this, I actually noticed it now, it says limits, it, it's not met. But I'm going to change this limit it because now it's said to be crazy really to zero zero. So you can set these limits, let's say to the three millimeters, three millimeters, two millimeters on height or one millimeter on height and 10 seconds, let's say. And then this alert never going to pop out. But uh, anyway, we just carry on to finish our resection. We will shoot the target number three which is RT3 so I just type it in I just used to do it so RT3 RT3 is over there I can see it and uh, I'm just gonna do same as before from here I can see that white cross aiming at the target I know now I'm roughly there I'm coming closer just adjusting my zoom And I got it now perfectly. This time I press F1 measure button and uh, I take it as the resection done after three targets and you can have a look. It's a very good resection for me. So limb is not mad. It doesn't matter completely. In the next resection you're going to see I just change it a little bit. I just forgot to change it when firstly setting this EDM but the one millimeter in position is zero millimeter in height. That's just perfect. And if you have a look here now, it's going to ask you, of course, if you want to measure more points, we don't want to do it this time. Three points are well enough for us, especially that resection is very good. You can also measure in other faces. So actually, let's do it this time just to show you. So we're going to press F2. So please change face. We're going to change the face of the instrument and we're going to shoot RT3, but uh, to be honest, I'm normally not using it, but if you want to make sure if your targets are a little bit further away and you want to make, well, you want to reduce error, really, you can use uh, both faces. I'm going to press measure button and then we got it. And then we got access tolerance. So actually, Access tolerances, accuracy position. So you know what? I just change it now, really. So I'm gonna access tolerances. I'm gonna say within five mil, it's okay. 
I'm gonna set the high within three mil, it's okay. And I'm gonna say that 10 seconds here and 10 seconds between the phase changing is okay as well. So this is actually when I change it and then you're never gonna see this alert again. And you're still gonna see the error. So that's what's most important for you really, but you don't need to be bothered about the alert. So we're gonna press now F4 button to compute our station and you're going to see the station number 649 and you're going to see the easting, northing, the height. This time you're going to see after I change the tolerances a little bit, make them more sensible. It's all ticked as uh, good. So we're not going to be adding points. We just press set now. Station orientation set. Wait a bit. And now there we go. When we finish our resection, we know the error is minimal. We're just ready to go. We can do the survey, stake out, ref lines, reference arc, whatever we really need. And we're going to start doing it step by step in my next videos. Guys, that's it in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I believe you just make another step forward in your setting out site engineering knowledge. If you have any questions, if something was unclear, please let me know, leave in the comment below. And please guys, subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on so you're gonna know when my next video gonna be released. So thank you again for watching and see you next time back on my channel.